Thursday, October 26, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So I'm going to look at the market this morning and then I want to talk about cryptocurrencies, the blockchain and the subject of a bubble, which I've touched upon before. Uh, and uh, so where are we this morning? Well, spot gold is at 1277.50, basically unchanged at the moment. We've been as high as 1282.78 and as low as 1276.50. So not much happening to pressure to gold this morning. Silver 1696 up two cents. The range has been 1705 to 1692. Uh, the Dow is up 13 right now. Uh, S&P up uh, 1.75 points and the uh, Nasdaq futures up six. So a little bit of a bounce after yesterday's uh, drop in the stock market. Uh, the Dow was down, I think, about 110 or 12. And we were down as much as 160 at one point. Uh, <laughs> still not much in terms of uh, percentage. We need to see the Dow drop like two. 230 points to see a 1% drop, which isn't really, you know, anything too uh, extreme uh, if you've followed markets for many years like I have. So uh, currency wise, we're seeing the pound drop back uh, this morning. We pound was uh, very up strongly yesterday, up uh, 1%, mainly because the GDP number was a tenth better than expected. So today, easy, you know, easy go, easy come, easy come, easy go. <laughs> the the uh, pound is down a third of a percent, down 50 pips. The other currencies, the euro is down a fraction, down five pips, which is nothing. Uh, dollar uh, down against the yen a little bit, down seven pips. Uh, we got back up uh, above 114 recently, but we're now at 113.66. Bond markets are a little, they, they haven't really done much. Um, the 10 year yield is still around 242, so it's dropped back a little bit. And the, the two years, 160. So this morning, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, later on this uh, morning, early afternoon, uh, European time, we've got the ECB uh, meeting uh, and the press conference at 8.30 New York time by the ECB president, uh, Mario Draghi. Uh, so that's the main event this morning. There will be announcement uh, at 12.45 London, which is 7.45 a.m. New York from the ECB. Tomorrow we we'll get uh, U.S. GDP data. So things seem calm right now. We'll have to wait and see whether we get the uh, follow through from yesterday's sell off. Well, if you want to call it a sell off or just slight drop, really, uh, in the uh, stock market in the US. So, cryptocurrencies. Uh, well, you know, cryptocurrencies continue to do well, especially Bitcoin. The alt currencies haven't really performed that well of late. Uh, I mean, Ethereum is languishing here, you know, under 300, you know, well below the the high around 400 earlier this year, while Bitcoin is near 6,000. So Bitcoin doing quite well. Uh, Bitcoin market cap 95 uh, billion, Ethereum 28 billion. That's in the context of, you know, OTC derivatives in the investment banking world, probably approaching a thousand trillion or a quadrillion uh, the bank for international settlements uh, they changed the accounting for otc derivatives a few years ago uh, if they hadn't changed it i think it'd be the notional amount would be uh, more like 1.5 quadrillion which is 1500 trillion which is a, an amazing number so uh, yeah, uh, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the cryptocurrencies have gone up a lot. It seems uh, like a bubble, and it probably is. But I think we need to look at cryptocurrencies and the blockchain. Uh, we're barely in the first inning, or maybe we're even not even in the first inning. We're warming up before the game. It's a long-haul thing. Uh, I don't think it's the... Uh, the right thing to do is to put everything you have into these things and expect to get rich tomorrow 
or next year. I think this is for the long haul. It's a it's a big thing. It will be part of our uh, economy going forward. I, I think uh, there's still a lot of people out there, especially the older generation, who never heard and will probably never get involved. This is more of a generational thing. It will take time. Uh, my wife said she heard someone on, on the radio on LBC yesterday. They were talking about the economy and Brexit. And someone came in and said, uh, came on the, on the radio, a caller, and said, yeah, our problem is the pound. Our currency is no good. Uh, the future is cryptocurrencies. And uh, the presenter of the program said, w what is cryptocurrencies? <laughs> so didn't even know. So the reason I'm talking about that is because I, I did make a video. Uh, yeah, it was June, uh, sorry, April this year. Cryptocurrencies in the dot-com bubble. And I, I, I'll put the link uh, above on the cards. And from what I remember, I said that basically, you know, we are you know, where the dot-com com bubble was, maybe in 1995, 96, 97, you know, that period. Uh, there will be every Tom, Dick, and Harry trying to benefit or profit from from the, you know, the enthusiasm, you know, the bubble or the mania, and that a lot of them will fail, uh, but a lot of them will survive, would survive. You know, look at Amazon. <laughs> one of the the guy who's the CEO now, one of the richest men in the world. Amazon. I remember in 1998. I think I I, I bought some shares, and the two days later it doubled in price, and I I got out. <laughs> it's just a quick trade. But if I kept the shares till now, I'd be doing pretty well. So that's what I'm trying to say. This is all long term. Uh, which cryptocurrencies are going to do best? Uh, difficult to say Bitcoin seems to be the leader right now but who knows it could you never know what could happen something else could come up and there's also uh, you know the financing side of cryptocurrencies through especially Ethereum uh, how people are starting to use cryptocurrencies to fund projects to uh, to issue their own alt currencies uh, they could be using it for something else in six months time time that we don't even know about. So I think it's the future. Uh, don't uh, have an exposure to it, benefit from it, but don't try to like uh, make a killing uh, or else you could get hurt because volatility is going to continue. And the reason I'm talking about this because there's an article here on Zero Hedge this morning. It says... Uh, in quotations, of course it's a bubble. Ethereum founder says he's not worried about digital currency valuations. And uh, I'll read a little bit about it. And I'm quoting, uh, his name is Ethereum co-founder Joe, Joe Lubin. And he says, or Lubin, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Of course it's a bubble. Hopefully it's one in a series of increasingly larger bubbles, Lubin said. These bubbles bring attention, they bring value into the ecosystem. That value is recognized by software developers and business developers, and they create fundamental value and projects that grow the new architecture. So there you go, you know, uh, that's from uh, one of the founders of Ethereum. And I agree with him. Uh, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs, and uh, he also talks about uh, the volatility. He says, speaking of the volatility of cryptocurrencies, Lubin says that it's just a matter of fewer people using them compared to the traditional currency systems and that, it, and that it's an addressable problem. And I quote him, he says, as they get a larger and larger monetary base, I think the volatility will decrease significantly. There are many state-issued currencies on this planet that are as volatile or more volatile than Bitcoin or Ether. So I uh, agree with the guy. So, uh, and it also says here, the popularity of Ethereum's platform, which is widely celebrated for pioneering the development of smart contracts, has helped grow the digital currency's valuation. 
and market capitalization. It has also helped attract a legion of volunteer developers who help maintain uh, up and update Ethereum's code, code, helping to make Ethereum the de facto industry standard for ICOs. Uh, so there you go. Um, who's to say that we can't have a cryptocurrency that will come up in a few months' time and be the standard for some other kind of, uh, you know, uh, segment of the economy, segment of the ecosystem, as they say. Uh, right now, Ethereum looks like it's the leading uh, cryptocurrency for uh, raising capital, uh, you know, in the blockchain world. So that's it. Um, waiting now to see what happens later on in the day with the markets. Uh, as I said, it looks all fairly quiet here on the Western Front, so to speak. <laughs> Uh, the only thing that I can see moving a little bit is the pound, which had a big move yesterday, and now it's moving back down. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, share it, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And you can also follow me on steamit.com and on Twitter. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.